The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 13 through 17, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 25th, 1968, in Los Angeles. So, continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth, and then to old age. Similarly, the soul also passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Report. Since every living entity is an individual soul, each is changing his body at every moment, manifesting sometimes as a child, sometimes as a youth, and sometimes as an old man although the same spirit soul is there and does not undergo any change. The individual soul finally changes the body itself in transmigrating from one to another, and since it is sure to have another body in the next birth, either material or spiritual, there is no cause for lamentation by Arjuna on account of death, either over Bhisma or over Drona, for whom he was so concerned. Mm. <coughs> Rather, now, this simple fact, as it is ex- uh, explained in the Bhagavad Gita that Dehinas uh, means Jathadihi Kumara Jovanangara. The change of body is taking place every moment. Uh, every moment. That's the child. The child, if there is some measuring instrument, if you measure this child today, tomorrow you'll find the child has grown or changed the body. That is a uh, medical science also. The body is changed. The body is changing, but uh, the soul is there. Just like I had my childhood body, boyhood body, and now I am a different body, but I remember all the activities of my childhood. Uh, therefore I am permanent. And body is changing. This simple truth, what is the difficulty for the people to understand? The simple truth. The body is changing, but I am not changing. I am eternal. Therefore I am not this body. I am not changing. The simple truth, the, the, the first instruction of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has begun instructing Arjun, after Arjun has accepted his discipleship, the first instruction is this, that you are lamenting on the body of your grandfather and teacher regarding fighting, but your grandfather or the soul, which is already explained that you as soul, I am as the supreme soul, or all these kings and soldiers have assembled, they are also souls. They existed in the past. Now they have changed their body. Again they will change their body, but they will exist. This is the instruction. The body is changing, and the uh, vivid example that in this life we are changing body. So, what is the difficulty of understanding the simple truth that the soul is different from the body? And so far, eternity of the soul, that is also there is proof. Because in childhood I was present, in boyhood I was present, in youthhood I was present, and in this old age I am still present. So naturally it is concluded that when I change this body I exist. When I change this part, this is what you will be changed. Tatha de hantarang prati. As the parents of this child, now she is, uh, say, one feet long only. 
when this child will grow five feet long, the father and mother, will they cry, Oh, my child, where is my child, that one feet long? He knows. The parents know that my child is there. They change the body. This is a fact. Similarly, you are lamenting on the body of your grandfather and teacher. Even they change their body, what is the cause of lamentation? They will exist. This is the beginning of instruction of Bhagavad Gita or spiritual instruction. Unless one understands this uh, simple fact, that the soul is different from this body, the soul is eternal, the body is temporary, changing, uh, because without understanding this there is no spiritual education, a false education. If one identifies with this body, there is no understanding of spiritual knowledge. So the yogis, they are uh, trying to come to this point by meditation, whether I am this body or not. Meditation means that, first meditation, concentration of the mind, the different kinds of sitting posture, that helps me to concentrate my mind, and if I concentrate my mind, meditation, the, am I this body? Then if I am not this body, where I am in this body, then if he analyzes, he will find himself within this heart. Uh, within this heart the soul is also there. And the super soul is also there. Krishna is also there. So the perfectional stage of yoga is to see the super soul and understand oneself that I am individual soul. So that perfectional stages we are immediately offering that to try to see Krishna always, Krishna consciousness. The yogis uh, are trying to reach a platform after so much exercise of the body. We are giving that thing immediately. Uh, that we, Krishna conscious, you are eternal part and parcel of Krishna, and Krishna is the super soul. Why should you take so much bhagavad to find him within? He is without also. He is all powerful. He can accept your offerings and you can take prasadam. This is practical yoga. So we are not beginning from the uh, gross stage. The Bhagavad Gita, although it is A B C D of spiritual instruction, it begins uh, from that stage, which stage the jnanis, the philosophers and the yogis they are trying to reach. But we have no time. In this age, by yoga practice, to come to this stage that I am not this body. Ask any student who are practicing yoga, so-called meditation, uh, they are inclined to this body. Uh, they are trying to exercise this body and they think that uh, this is the uh, final. No. The simple truth, very simple truth, Krishna, as the Supreme Authority, presenting very simply, Dehinasmin Jatadehi Kaumara Yogananda. 
as in this body there are different changes. Similarly, the ultimate change is called death, but the spirit soul, as he is existing within this body in spite of all changes, similarly, the spirit soul will continue to exist even after the final change of this body. The simple truth. Try to understand this. This is the basic principle of further progress. If one does not understand this point of view, or there is no progress. This is a visit that I am not this body. 